Hey guys, let's jump to this amazing adventure of illustration style! Illustration style! Come on, bad your friends, we're going to bury this the lambs. The first question that I got a lot is when I start drawing. And that is super super difficult because I start drawing since I can grab a pencil in my chubby hands. As you may notice, I was a little like I was, I am. I was and I am a, a really chubby girl back then and my mom used to tell me that I really like uh, drawing since I was really little so yeah. The big inspiration at the time, I'm, I mean it's not a big inspiration but it was, uh, it's Robotech. It was amazing but it's not that I felt really inspired back then but uh, by them, by Robotech, uh, but my older brother and sister were like super invested. They were like super uh, huge fans of, of Robotech, uh, so I grew up watching a lot of Robotech when I was a little. And then Sailor Moon came out, I was really excited actually. But I remember the feeling of the first episode ending and I was crushed because I want to see more, I want to watch more episodes, I want to know more about uh, Sailor Moon and their customs and the warriors and the evil guys and stuff like that. Well, Sailor Moon ended like uh, the whole season stuff like that and then Sak uh, Captor Sakura came out. In that time, Captor Sakura was the shit. I mean, I remember watching the drawings and the illustrations and the colors were so amazing and the sound effects were like amazing and the music, like the soundtrack, the characters and just having the idea that Sakura changed her wardrobe every time she captured a card, it was like, are you fucking kidding me? But whatever, I felt really inspired back then uh, with those uh, TV shows. So it's not hard to tell that I love anime. I do anime on my bike, I do anime in my school, I do anime when I was supposed to making, doing my homework. It was like, it was my life. Anime was my life. But then I started to going to university and it was like super hard for me realizing that I want to become an illustrator but anime it wasn't helped me on that goal. So first of all, do you remember uh, that uh, thing I said the last time that I made the video? That sense of uniqueness? I, I always felt that anime didn't have that sense of uniqueness for me because a lot of people draw anime like in a really similar way. I don't know if you can notice. I don't have anything against anime. I love anime. If you draw anime, go for it, girl. But for me, it didn't work because uh, if I want to become like a child like a children's illustrator or if I want if I wanted to illustrate for editorial companies such as magazines or newspapers stuff like that I realized that they never feature anime artists so I was like what the heck so uh, I realized I have to change my illustration style I want to become known for my own illustration style and not for oh do you know that girl like from something who draws like super good anime because I will be another girl who draw anime which is okay but I didn't want that so I started to change my illustration style and I was really proud of my decision and I remember telling my professor back then we have like a really uh, short version of an illustration course in university as you can imagine, in graphic design, illustration is not that important. I mean, at least it wasn't in my university back then. And I remember telling my professor, like, super proud. You know what? Right now, I'm starting to make my own illustration style. And he was like, oh my god, I'm so proud of you. Like, but you gotta be patient. And I was like, why? I have to be patient. And he told me that having or developing an illustration style can take years. And I felt excited, but I felt also really frustrating. And I think in a lot of ways you guys felt this way right now, if you are going to develop your own illustration style. Um, because thinking as, as a 20 year old something that something will take years, is like, oh no my god, it's so boring. Can, can I have the illustration now, style like now? Because this is so much time, I have so much things to do, but I want it. I want this so much that I say 
fuck it, I will do it. It will take years, I will make it. If it will take months, that didn't take months, I will do it. And so I did it. Let's make a recap of the context. I was in second and third year of university, second year, it was like the beginning of the third year of, of university. And back then, um, my family were really into a budget, so quitting graphic design and starting another career, like an illustration career, it wasn't possible. I had to finish graphic design and learn illustration by myself. So um, the thing that I figured out this whole like system, <laughs> this illustration system, is that once my classes were finished, I will go to the library, lock myself into the library, my university's library, and I will that was the period of time when I start to do my research. All the research that I need to become an illustrator. Because, as you know, I couldn't afford uh, an illustration class or a workshop or something like that. So I became, I became really invested in um, knowing new illustrators, why they became so popular. Uh, books, I was really into illustration now, uh, books. And I was also really inspired by the Pictoplasma illustrations book. So yeah, but you already knew that. <laughs> In this research period of my life, I became really uh, obsessed with Marguerite Suabash, which is a really cool uh, French artist. I don't know if you know her, but if you don't, you have to check her out because he, her illustrations are amazing. And I really become really fan of uh, Barbucci and Canepa, which are a couple. She paints and he draws, and they they uh, illustrate an amazing comic book which you have to read, uh, which is Sky Doll. And uh, I remember reading Sky Doll for the first time and I, I, I felt really inspired by them. So Marguerite Swabash and this uh, Canepa Barbucci duo were like a really... Um, they were like a real love crush for me and uh, so I started drawing like them, copying their uh, illustration styles, watching their illustrations over and over and over and a few months uh, passed by and um, I felt really frustrated because I realized I could never draw like them. It was really revealing for me because I realized that um, I could like an illustration style, I could like Marguerite Suabash, but that that doesn't uh, meant that I wanted to draw like them. I start my inspiration folder again, and I became really fan and <laughs> obsessed with all cartoons uh, type of illustrations. I love Betty Boop. I love how Mickey Mouse arms they look like because I don't know if you notice or if you ever watch old cartoons type of thing like the black and white old cartoons and I love how their arms and their legs are really like a noodle like yeah <laughs> they're they're amazing because it's like they don't they didn't have any bones which is kind of creepy if you think about it but for me it was amazing because trying to draw an anatomic kind of body, but with bones, it was really hard for me. So I realized that if I, if I couldn't draw the bones, I will start to um, take reference those type of that time. Uh, so I don't know if you can see, uh, but I started drawing my illustrations without the bone structure. And it was amazing because I really, I, I felt comfortable and I really became really inspired by uh, Alice in Wonderland uh, story and I became like obsessed and I enjoyed it all the time. I made like a few stickers uh, and it was amazing. It was super great. Uh, I became aware of uh, Macbeth's work back then. I don't know if you know about Macbeth, but it's an amazing illustrator. I love his work. It was a uh, it was a huge inspiration for me. That period of time, it was the first time since I drew anime that I feel really comfortable drawing. I knew that wasn't that was not going to be my illustration style forever, but I felt really comfortable and just feeling comfortable with that. It was like a huge relief for me because I I felt and I understand that I was in the right in the right path 
for getting my own illustration style. And it was like huge also because I started to illustrating uh, uh, for a few magazines back then. And it was the first time that people became aware of my illustration style. And it was the first time that somebody told me that drawing is so you. And it was like, it's so me. So me? It was so great. The thing is that um, since uh, Sailor Moon, it wasn't my direct reference back then because I tried to uh, get like super far away of anime. Uh, I start to remembering the, the TV shows that I, I watched when I was a little. And I remember like a, hu like a lot of... Um, a lot of TV shows that uh, really inspire me right now, uh, such as Hey Arnold or Real Monsters or As Told by Ginger. It was like, I mean, it was my TV, my favorite TV show back then. Uh, the Wild Thumberries too. I mean, all that classy supo uh, type of uh, drawings. I realized that I'm also, I wasn't alone because uh, since I was starting to making my own illustration style, I realized there were a lot of young uh, female illustrators as well as me. So I was like, oh my God, I'm not alone. And I became really a fan of their works, such as Anke Wegman, uh, Gemma Corel, Vera Brosgol, Lorena Alvarez, Meg Hunt, among others. So right now we are in the present, guys. It's amazing. This whole journey. I'm sorry if this was really fast. Right now it's an amazing period of time for me because for the first time I really felt, I, I really feel comfortable with my drawings and for the first time in my whole career I stopped comparing me with other illustrators. I think that I became aware of my own illustration style and I don't know why but um, I don't have this huge pressure anymore of uh, what I'm supposed to drawing or what are other illustrators doing and uh, I, I also have inspirations and stuff and there are a lot of illustrations who inspire me but um, most of it I think that I, I became obsessed of improving my illustration style and, and getting and pursue my dreams and getting better at what I am right now, but I'm not like comparing me. And right now I'm really into watercolors because um, I realized that I love how the watercolors look in my illustrations. Uh, so uh, my main inspiration right now are illustrators who are making stuff with watercolors. Uh, I won't read those names because they're really fantastic. Uh, Yelena. Brikenskova, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm saying your name wrong, but she's so, so talented. I love also Isabel Arsenault, Arsenault and uh, Amélie Flechais, Flechais, when you're reading it. So yeah, guys, I think that's my journey so far. I mean, I don't know what else can I say about that? Um, I received a lot of questions for you guys and I also wanted to thank you like a lot for the great feedback you gave me you gave me in the past two videos because you're amazing. Since I got like a lot of questions I realized that uh, it will be a better idea if I do like a FAQ type of video because there are a lot of questions. So yeah, that's it guys. I, I hope you're having an amazing day Thank you so much for watching and I see you later. Bye!